All right, let's just talk about what I learned from doing flips and renovating profits, renovating properties f to make a profit. So let's just think about this. Um, if you're thinking about house flipping, which I'm seeing a lot of different people doing flips and different things like that, let's just talk. Let's just talk about what I personally learned. The golden key, baby, to flipping. My first renovation was kind of a mix of simple yet complicated. I was super nervous, didn't know what to do, but I knew I, I had a lot of experience in the background. The simple part was I had to learn how to save money to have money to do the renovation. Now, a lot of people say you don't need money to do the renovation, but I find when I had my own skin in the game, I was just much more calculated, much careful, and just re just ready for the best possible execution of the property. So the complicated part was learning how to stop being a spender. So if you're looking to do a flip or you're looking to do any sort of type of investments like that, you should have some money that you put up and that comes with you having to stop spending the money that you make. Okay, eventually I had the cash to back me up came across a deal and I, you know, experience, I have a lot of experience in selling properties prior to this. So I decided to go ahead and just buy this place. And that's kind of how I got into this flipping game. Um, the renovation for profit game is very, is great, but some people only do it once a year, twice a year. So just keep your day job, right? My main opportunity is sales, but then I saved a lot of money. So now I'm able to do flips and obviously that just keeps growing the income. The best way to do any of these deals, in my opinion, is just by simply having your own cash. Uh, it just helps when you buy the property. It helps with the interest rates that you pay on doing these renovations. And if you don't know your numbers, it just helps give you much better of a cushion that you eliminate the, op the possibility of losing money, right? Rule number one, let's not lose that money and let's keep it safe. There are good deals out there for sure, but you must be very careful and calculated. Some deals make you money, but while some deals can actually lose you money, right? So you could do a deal, lose so much money and be out of the game forever. The goal is to keep on going, which means you got to be really, really calculated. I still buy properties to this day. I think it's a fantastic, if you get good opportunities, I think it's a fantastic way to keep on growing your funds on top of your regular income. And it, give, it gives me a lot of control of the property, which I absolutely love. Plus, I actually love getting other realtors paid on the deals that I do because I built my business being a realtor. So I just love getting other realtors paid. I do not ever give them a hard time. And I obviously see the value in realtors because I was one for so long. Now, if you're interested in evaluating a property, I'm still looking for flips all the time and I'm always looking for deals. So if you wanna connect and go over numbers and go over what it would cost to do a deal and run some preliminary numbers, or you have a house that you wanna let me know about, you know who to call. And just remember, if you are not 100% sure on what to do or how to do the flip or it's something doesn't feel right, you probably just shouldn't go for it. Talk to a lot of experts, talk to a lot of investors and see what mistakes they have made and what you can learn from. But overall, if you land a good renovation project, it tends to be lucrative.